Hypercholesterolemia in patients with nephrotic syndrome. The reason why hypercholesterolemia in nephrotic syndrome is primarily related to hypertension. Abnormal cholesterol levels in the blood are the first sign often seen in patients with nephrotic syndrome. Nephrotic syndrome is a chronic pathology with clinical symptoms including edema, decreased blood protein, while proteinuria, lipid and blood cholesterol elevation. In the early stages, the manifestation of the disease is primarily hypercholesterolemia. Nephrotic syndrome is a collection of manifestations of kidney damage. Symptoms of the disease include Protein appears in the urine, albumin levels in the blood decrease. Elevated blood lipids and patients with significant edema. Other symptoms, including weight gain, tired, and bubbles in urine. In addition, this disease has the risk of complications such as blood clots, infections and hypertension. The reason why increased cholesterol in nephrotic syndrome is mainly related to hyperemia. The cause of the above symptoms comes from some kidney diseases. For example, glomerular fibrosis localized in each region, renal disease, membranes, disease minimal changes. Nephrotic syndrome also occurs as a complication of diabetes or lupus. Pathogenesis is primarily related to glomerular damage of the kidneys. The diagnosis is usually based on a urine test and sometimes requires a kidney biopsy. Treatment of nephrotic syndrome aims to address the underlying causes. In addition, efforts should be made to control related conditions such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol and limit the risk of infection. Learn more. Nephrotic syndrome in children, causes, symptoms, treatment. Women with nephrotic syndrome during pregnancy. Things to know about albumin infusion in nephrotic syndrome. Refer to 247naturalhealthtricks.com signs of hypercholesterolemia in nephrotic syndrome. Abnormalities in blood cholesterol levels are the first sign often seen in patients with nephrotic syndrome. In particular, hypertriglyceridemia will appear secondary thereafter. Moreover, such hyperlipidemia is more common when blood albumin levels fall below 20 grams L. Low-density lipoprotein LDL, very low VLDL, and intermediate IDL types all show signs of increase. While high-density lipoprotein HDL, remained either normal or decreased. Lipid abnormalities will most often recover when nephrotic syndrome disappears. So why is nephrotic syndrome causing hyperlipidemia? Why does cholesterol increase in nephrotic syndrome? Due to an increase in the synthesis of VLDL in the liver, causing hypercholesterolemia in nephrotic syndrome. Increasing the synthesis of VLDL in the liver is the main mechanism, often related to the severity of the decrease in blood albumin blood protein. When blood albumin decreases, this leads to a decrease in the glue pressure of the plasma. This leads to stimulation of apolipoprotein B synthesis, increasing VLDL synthesis. In addition, the increase of HGM CoA reductase mevalonic acid, precursors of cholesterol and free fatty acids. That is also the reason why cholesterol increases in nephrotic syndrome. Decreased lipoprotein lipase LPL, causing hypercholesterolemia in nephrotic syndrome. LPL enzymes play an important role in reducing VLDL degradation, causing the concentration of this type of lipoprotein to rise. It is the free fatty acids that inhibit the activity of LPL. Deficiency of APOC2 and heparin sulfate due to urinary excretional so inhibits the activity of this enzyme. Reducing lecithin cholesterol acyltransferase LCAT, causing hypercholesterolemia in nephrotic syndrome. Nephrotic syndrome causes a decrease in LCAT enzymes. The resulting leads to lipid abnormalities through the reduction of HDL synthesis begin with VLDL. Loss of HDL and ApoA1 through urine, causing hypercholesterolemia in nephrotic syndrome. The reason why nephrotic syndrome causes hyperlipidemia is also associated with the loss of HDL and ApoA1 in the urine, but plasma HDL levels are mostly normal. The effect of atherosclerosis formation in abnormal lipid levels is not really clear in patients with nephrotic syndrome. However, hypercholesterolemia has the potential to cause platelet aggregation, resulting in thrombus formation, causing embolism. Therefore, it reduces the response of lymphocytes to antigen stimulation. 
Hyperlipidemia is also likely to be a factor in glomerular fibrosis. How to reduce cholesterol naturally. Link in description. Thank for watching. Don't forget like, share and subscribe to watch new videos. Wish you and family peace.